I am going to solve a small problem on exponential smoothing and show you how to obtain the optimal value of alpha. By optimal value of alpha, I mean the alpha value which minimizes the mat. Lower the mat, the better, because we know that MAD is also used to estimate the standard deviation of the forecast. I will show you two ways, one using the data table and one using SOL. As usual, you may click on my PowerPoint slides if it contains an Excel sheet, and then it will become Excel. And even the interface <coughs> changes from PowerPoint to Excel. That is one way of doing it. You can copy this and paste it into an Excel sheet. Or you can just right click on it, work object, open. Now I have a file. The only problem with this is whatever you make here, it will be reflected into the PowerPoint slides. Therefore, after you are done with the example, don't save the PowerPoint because then if you have made some mistakes or things, it will be recorded over here. Usually in exponential smoothing, we set the forecast for the first period equal to the actual for the first period. You may do other things, but conventionally in this course, we set forecast of first equal to actual of first. And then we conduct exponential smoothing forecast. One minus alpha and lock it because we want to copy it down multiplied by the forecast of the previous period plus alpha and lock it because we want to copy it down times the actual of the previous period. 1 minus alpha times forecast of the previous period plus alpha times actual of the previous period. Enter and just simply copy it down. And these are our forecasts for these periods. And if I want to forecast for period eight, that is my forecast for period eight. Okay. So we are done with this part. Then I need to compute error. Error is simply the difference between actual and forecast. And it is computed only for the periods for which both actual and forecast are available. I cannot go to this period because actual is not available there. So we are done with this numbers. And then I compute the absolute value of error, which is equal to apps of this one, and then I copy it down. So I have absolute value of the error, then I compute mad, which is equal to average of this cell to itself, but I go and lock the first part four. Indeed, I don't need to lock both E and four. It is enough to lock four. And therefore, if I am going to copy to the right, it will still work. Therefore, I say no matter which row I am, you should compute from this row to E4 as the average. For the first one is this. And then I come down. This is the average of these four numbers. Average of these six numbers average of these seven numbers and this is my mat. Let me a little bit reduce the decimal points. And we know that 1.25 times mat is the standard deviation of our forecast for next period. Therefore for next period my average forecast is 20.1, and my standard deviation 
is 1.56. Now the question is, which alpha is the best alpha? <clears throat> 0 0.1.2.3 watt. I'll come here <coughs> and I type 0. And I go here and I type 0 0.1. And I come down here and I say equal to this 0. And then I come here and I say equal to what is above plus this one and lock it. So that would be 0.1 plus 0, then 0.1 plus 0 0.1, 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and so on. So now I have from 0.1 to 1. Then I go here, just one cell above the first number and one cell to its right. And I say equal to mad. I'm sorry, mad was here, equal to mad, see, equal to, let's see, equal to mad, so mad is over there, let's, let, let me put something like this here, Now I mark all of these, 0 0.1.2.3.4, point 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 I go to data, what if analysis, data table. It tells me what is your parameter, what is your input data? Have you typed it in a row or in a column? Have I typed these numbers in a row or in a column? in a row or in a column, obviously in a column. And what is it? I have typed it in a column, say, it is this alpha, okay? And then I say, okay, and it will give me all these numbers. And then I say, equal to mean of these numbers, okay? Enter. So I found the minimum value. Then I go and mark this entirely and say conditional formatting, highlight, equal to. If this number is equal to, this number painted red. Okay? And it is painted red. Therefore, The minimal alpha, the best alpha, is alpha equal to 0.3, which leads to a MAD of 1.251. All of them are very close to each other because it is not very sensitive to MAD in this example. Okay. Now, I know that my mat is around 0.3. Therefore, I go over there. Instead of 0, I type 0 0.25. Because it's quite close to 0 0.3. And here, instead of 0 0.1, I type 0 0.01. And therefore now, my numbers, instead of starting from zero going to one, they start from 0.25 and go to 0.35, and I came out with a more precise value for alpha. Again, I could say 0.31, something between 0.30 and 0.31 is 0.305. Point three oh five, and then I go and add another zero here, and therefore the optimal value for alpha up to three decimal points is point three 
one one okay now let me show you a different way of doing it but you must learn both of them i type for example point two and this is my math 1.221 solver minimize mat by changing alpha not maximize mat minimize not set mat to a value but minimize it minimize it by changing alpha minimize mat by changing alpha minimize it don't maximize it don't set it to a value minimize it and then make sure it is on non-linear it is on non-linear solve problem is solved and we have got the optimal value of alpha up to many decimal points thank you for your attention